previous strategy for um, our itinerary uh, for our parking area so that we can stay one step ahead of the meter room. So what's your first stop? You, you're looking at all the available uh, places. You want to find the one where the meter reader shows up the latest after uh, you arrive. From that time on, what's the latest spot that she shows up? So you park there, and you go do whatever you, uh, you have to do. And then just before she arrives there, you get in your car and you grab away. Now what's the rest of the day? It's a recursive call. I mean, it's, it's a recursive call. Except now uh, it starts at 10 o'clock instead of 8 o'clock. So where are you going to drive to? The latest place that she's going to stop at after uh, 10 o'clock in the first day. And then uh, you drive away and right before she arrives. So if you keep doing that, that gives you an optimum solution. So what's your uh, first stop? It's the latest one. Uh, now, uh, is it, does it? Every uh, optimum solution have your first stop. Yes. No, it could be somebody else could get by with just as few stops, given access to uh, the meter reader's uh, schedule. But what can you do? You can say, well, I'm going to keep the same itinerary as they have, except I'm going to switch their first stop to the one that I made. Are you going to get a ticket? No. So they got from their first stop. You're going to get a ticket at your, before your first stop because of the definition of it. The meter readers are not going to stop there before you uh, move. Okay. Uh, how do we know that you can make it from there to, to your, your friend's next stop? Your friend has this other option. Well, they moved their car earlier in the morning than your 10 o'clock. And they still didn't get a uh, ticket at their next stop, so you can make it from 10 o'clock to that. Therefore, there's an optimum solution uh, that has your first <coughs> stop. You can swap, take any optimum solution. You can swap out their first stop to your first stop without hurting uh, the measure of the schedule. Now, we make a recursive call on the rest of the day. There's it's a feasible solution for the rest of the day. They won't get a ticket. Your recursive call is an optimum solution for the rest of the day because of induction. When our induction hypothesis of recursive call return an option. So you're going to have at most as many stops for the rest of the day as they do. You combine that with your first stop. You're going to have at most as many stops as their optimum solution. Yours is also an optimum solution. That's what they all 